What's going on guys? So today I am out here at Explore USA RV Super Center in Bernie, Texas, and we are going to take a look at this really, really cool free solo Romo travel trailer. This thing is absolutely awesome inside and I don't think you're going to want to miss this one. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, before we go much further, let's take a look at the numbers on this tiny little unit. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 3,300 pounds, cargo capacity of 1,235 pounds, which means this thing is incredibly light when it's not loaded. This is something you could tow behind just about any tow vehicle that has roughly a four or 5,000 pound maximum tow rating, mainly because it is just an incredibly light unit. And if you don't load it up all the way to its maximum cargo capacity, it's gonna be much lighter than you might even think. You still want to have some type of a sway control system in place on this simply because, you know, you don't want to allow the back of this thing to start wagging if you get into heavy winds. So sway control is probably necessary. Weight distribution might not be as necessary. This is likely to transfer about 300 to 400 pounds to the back of your vehicle when unloaded. So when you load it up, it'll be a little bit more. But again, this is perfect for those tow vehicles that have between that 4,000 and 6,000 pound maximum tow capacity. If you want to play it real safe, this would be perfect behind like an Explorer or a Durango. Anyways, let's take a look at some of the features of this really cool free solo Romo unit. This is a teardrop shaped unit. The whole length of this is only about probably 16 feet. Very, very short, very, very light. Relatively tall though, right? It's not one of those incredibly short in terms of height units. Has a manual tongue jack up front, has a 25 pound propane tank already mounted. You have a nice little storage tray right here that you can also probably mount your batteries on. You have your connections right there. You have your sewer connections right here as well. It does have a little solar connection right here so you can trickle charge your batteries. If you're camping somewhere and you got a lot of bright sunlight, you can plug in solar to it and just keep your batteries maintained a little bit fresh water connection here. This is gonna have a gas electric refrigerator. This is the outside ventilation area for it. That's gonna be the outside of your furnace. Up top is gonna to be your air conditioner. So that is a side mounted air conditioner. Don't need anything really big for something like this. This doesn't have an upgraded equalizer because it's only a single axle. It has one of these Westlake off-road style tires. Not sure how these hold up. If you've used these before, let me know. I'd love to know what you guys think about them. You have your city water connection, plus you have a 30 amp connection here on the side. And then you have your water heater right here. Shower right here as well. Coming around to the back, nice LED strip lighting across the bottom. You have your stabilizer jacks back here. It has some LED clearance lights up top. This is a full fiberglass unit, which means it runs fiberglass from front to back over the top as well, similar to an R-Pod and units like those. Nice little storage here. It's actually a pretty good size storage too. Give you quite a bit of it. And they're usually pretty smart about how they configure these for storage, simply because they try to take advantage of all the spots they can. You have some outside power connections here. You have a step that pulls out and down. And then you have a nice LED light on this side, plus a vent up top and a TV antenna. You have your screen door right here. Then you have your frosted window. Stepping inside this incredibly compact unit, which I don't need to step inside, I can kind of lean inside. Up front, you have a good size compact kitchen, complete with a microwave, two burner gas cooktop, nice stainless steel single basin sink area, reasonable amount of room around it. This is kind of one of those ideal areas for a stove that has a cover. That way you can use that area as well if you'd like to because not a lot of prep space in this unit. You have some storage up top. Really cool that they give you a wet bath right here as well. And it's a reasonable size wet bath. So, you know, this is very different than a lot of teardrop units and the fact that you actually have a bathroom with a shower versus, you know, some of these just don't have any type of bathroom at all. You have your Dometic gas electric refrigerator right there, plus your stereo system right here. This is gonna be your furnace blower. And then this all converts into either kind of a lounge seating area or a bed. And it's a really good size bed. I would venture to say it's probably 
the size of a king size bed when everything's laid flat. You have your breaker box underneath here, some pleated shades up there, your air conditioning unit up there, and it's a simple window style air conditioning unit that they've put in here. I really don't think you need much more than that. Plus you have a fan up top. And then on this side, you have some more storage. But this thermostat, honestly, it's probably just for your furnace. So your air conditioning controls, I believe, are gonna be on the side of the air conditioning unit right there. You have your smoke alarm over there, and you can have a carbon monoxide detector as well. Under the sink, you have some more storage down below here. Overall, this is just a really cool compact unit. I think a lot of folks could definitely see themselves using something like this out on the beach, or if they're just gonna go out for the weekend, if it's just a couple, if you wanna go out biking and you wanna have something comfortable to come back to so you can rinse off, cook a meal, you know, it, this is just a really convenient floor plan for a lot of folks. And it's easily towable by just about any tow vehicle that has, you know, just enough towing capacity to, to be able to handle the weight of this unit. Definitely want to make sure you're set up properly for it though. You know, a lot of folks see something super light like this and they automatically assume I can just hitch this up behind my Subaru or I can just hitch this up behind my, my wagon and just tow away with it. But the reality is you still have to take into account all the precautions, right? Setting up, making sure you're not transferring too much weight to the back of your vehicle, making sure your hitch is able to support the weight of this. We're not talking about big pickup trucks here. We're generally talking about smaller vehicles that might only have like an inch and a quarter receiver on the back. And we need to make sure that whatever weight you're transferring isn't exceeding the capacity of that because you may actually need a small weight distribution setup. This type of trailer I think is really perfect for the Anderson no sway setup. I think it really works well because you get great friction sway control with that, that collar the way they do it. Plus, this is going to be relatively easy to set up from a weight and balance perspective. Anyways, guys, I'd love to know your thoughts on this tiny, compact, free solo, teardrop style travel trailer. Let me know. And this unit is going to have a $18,500 MSRP, but these are relatively affordable units if you're looking for something like this. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.